Hello YouTube, what is up? Today I'm going to be doing something different than what I normally do. So basically this video is going to have no drawing whatsoever. What I'm going to be doing is a Q&A. So I have this custom treasure box I made that just has a bunch of doodles on it. And it's actually not quite finished yet, but that's alright. And I have a bunch of papers in it. Uh, they're basically questions you guys gave me from this community post. So, thank you to everybody who commented on that and asked me a question. It really helps with this whole video. But now, let's get into so, that. We have a lot of questions here, and let's pick one. This one, which says, what's your best drawing you've ever done? Hmm. I have quite a few drawings I really like, and one of my favorites are the realism ones. Because, you know, they look realistic and it's it takes a while and it's hard to do. And while I normally do cartoon, those ones aren't normally as impressive. But overall, I think one of my favorite drawings that I've ever done is this strawberry drawing right here. Personally, I just think it looks really cool and it turned out really good for one of my first realism pieces. So, now on to the second question. Alright, let's see what this one says. It says, how many art styles have you done? Hmm. Well, there's cartoon, realism, x-ray, glitch, drip, glow, pixel, inverted. I might be missing a few, but there's about maybe 7 to 10. That sounds about right. Now time for the third question. Let's pick this one. How many different art techniques have you done? Kind of a weird question. Not necessarily sure what that means, but... My same technique every time is I just sketch the drawing and then I go in with colored pencils. I normally, with realism pieces, you draw lighter colors and then you add on darker and more layers and more layers. That's what I did with this. So I, you start with the red and I put a full, I like made like a little line here and then I put a full layer of light red and then I went in darker and then I like didn't dark over here little bit light over here and i added white right there so you want to add darkest to lightest and then with my cartoon art you just kind of do the sketch and draw from there but it also it's always a good idea darkest from light just so it looks clean and nice question four what's your view on digital drawing so i personally think i wanted to be a digital drawer and then I leaned t more towards traditional, and I really like traditional, but I know people say that digital is cheating, and I personally don't think it is to a certain extent. So you c it's, it's kind of the same. It may just like make your lines a little bit better, but that's okay. You're still making the drawing, and sometimes tracing can be okay, just in like certain forms. Like maybe don't trace an entire piece and then say you made it, like that's kind of cheating. Any other way, I think it's great and I love it. And I wanted, once again, I wanted to do digital drawing, but I couldn't really find a good iPad. So I'm kind of glad I stuck with traditional. I think I'd prefer it, but for certain people, I think it would definitely be a good choice. Now let's do the fifth question. All right, so this one is, how many chicken tenders have you weighed in in the past five days? Too many. Mm hmm Way too many. Alright, now time for the sixth question. Hey guys, it's actually been quite a while since that last clip was filmed. I think it's been about a week. I just wanted to say thank you to those of you watching this video. I've been trying to crank out videos, but I've been very busy. So, I haven't been having that many videos. And I'm going to try to be very more consistent with you guys. Appreciate all of you here. And just remember to subscribe so we can get a 2K. I know we just hit 1K, which is very awesome. And remember to like the video. And yeah, let's get back into this. All right, so let's pick another one. I believe this is pick six. This one wrapped around my finger, I guess. So we'll pick that one. This comment says, have you ever done commissions or solid art? No, but if you guys would be interested in me selling art on 
I don't know, I could make a website if I know how to do that, maybe Etsy, eBay, something like that. Uh, tell me if you guys would be interested in that, because if I get a lot of people that would actually want to buy my art from my videos, then that would be so sick, and I would definitely sell it. Now pick seven. Oops, I guess we're picking that one. This comment says, what was the longest art took to make? The longest time it took me to make a piece of art was any of my realism ones. This one took quite a while because there was a lot of different layering, and I know I used this one for an example already, but it took a long time. Besides realism, my longest art pieces were probably any canvases because there's a big area you have to fill up. And my markers are about this big. That tip is not very big. And I had to color this whole canvas with it. So while it's not the best, it took a long, long time. Next question. How many art pieces have you done? Whoa. I don't know if I can necessarily pinpoint exactly how many I've done. Because considering I've probably done some when I was a little kid, I've uh, thrown away some, I don't want to count all of them. Because considering this is my stack of sketchbook and canvases, it barely even fits in frame. I don't know if I can specify that. <laughs> Alright, next question. When did you start doing art? Well, I'm not necessarily sure how to answer that. I started doing art when I was like one. You know, everybody like, you know, takes a crayon and just scribbles it on a paper and technically it is art. I've always liked drawing. So like when I was eight, I, I drew a lot. I mean, it wasn't good, but it was like cartoon art. And I'm not saying that's not real art, but you know, it, it wasn't the best, and I wasn't actually, like, trying, trying to get better. I was just doing it for fun. I started actually trying hard to get better. My grandma gave me some lessons on, like, perspective, I guess, like, 3D cylinders, spheres, how to draw those. Um, and mainly more this year, I've been doing more realism and actually trying to take time on my drawings on shades and learn how to get everything correctly i've been drawing my whole life to answer your question <laughs> next one is this one it says what are you currently working on i'm currently working on this video if we're talking about drawing what i'm working on i'm working on this for a video uh I don't know if it's going to be out by the time this video is, so it might be blurred, but if it's not, then I'll show it. This is what I'm currently working on. It's Um, there's four styles. It looks pretty alright. Next question is... What are your top three art supplies? That is a really great question. It's really just going to be what I mainly use. Obviously, first favorite art supplies is... Posca markers. I mean, look how many I have. I use them all the time. I love them so much. There's so many different shades and sizes, and they're just amazing. Now, my second favorite is definitely gonna be Prismacolor. They are so high quality. They're amazing. They're great for blending and especially realism. I love using this for realism. And my third favorite alcohol markers I have this big pack and this big pack and i really want to get a hoo hoo markers because i heard those are really good but so are these ones next question and this one is do you have any tips for someone trying to get better at drawing first practice 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 that's when it get you better if something doesn't work out right practice it's gonna get better you're not gonna be good your first time drawing and it doesn't matter if it's not realism but my first realism is crap i mean what is that how is supposed to be gummy bears and it just looks like blobs if you really try to get better you will and i just did youtube tutorials once again answer the question practice three more questions 
but who inspired you? A lot of people. For art in general, my family, other YouTubers, although I wasn't really aware of a lot of the big YouTubers when I was starting to want to do art. The main person who I loved when I was younger is this guy. Uh, this is his logo, this is his channel. He did a uh, chibi cartoon and I loved that. But now what inspires me as a YouTuber, as an artist, is definitely Bart Does Art, Chris Dart for Hold and Draws. Um, and everybody in that art community, there's a lot more too. Those are kind of like the high ones that got everything started and you know everybody else is just kind of following and like art communities building up so those are all my biggest inspirations two more when did you find your passion to be an artist i don't know I, i've always had a passion i've always loved it ever since i was a little kid and you know i still am a kid but I, I've always loved it, and I always will like that. Last but not least question is... What's your favorite video game? Alright, I'm going to tell you my top three. These are all going to be very basic, but I personally really like Fortnite. I also really like Minecraft. Mainly games that you can play with other people. Playing alone is so boring. I also like Roblox. That was our last question. The box is now empty. I really enjoyed this video. It was so much fun. I'm just going to pop up like a thing of everybody's comments on the screen. So thank you to everyone who commented. And I would like you guys to comment down below if I should do this video like this again. Because I think it was very fun. And it's just a little get to know me video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe. Um, I'll see y'all later. Uh, bye.